Austin M., who runs the online oddities collecting community as SPEZ, has been collecting skulls for nearly a decade. And at only 21, he owns nearly 230 skulls. Unlike the majority of amateur collectors, Austin owns a good deal of exotic and rare specimens. His favorites include a giant alligator gar, a record-breaking cougar, a Belgian draft horse, a grizzly bear, a giant forest hog, a hippopotamus, and an African lioness. He started out purchasing them on eBay, which is how most collections start. But as his interest grew, so did his scope of sources. Using Facebook groups as a resource, he connected with fellow collectors and vendors in order to add to his personal collection. He still obtains most of his skulls online, but now he sources them from friends and colleagues who either sell the pieces directly or tip each other off to other posted sellings. In addition to his online network, Austin expanded his range to antique malls and flea markets, which are frequently home to rare or exotic finds, sitting underpriced and gathering dust until an oddity enthusiast like him stumbles across it. The thrill of finding a rare piece at an antique show is unmatched. Austin prides himself in finding his grizzly bear and his forest hog skulls in person at such events. In addition to purchasing clean skulls, Austin also processes, or cleans and preserves, raw heads himself. Most often, he accomplishes this via maceration, or leaving the unclean skulls submerged in water and allowing the naturally occurring microbes to break down the remaining flesh and connective tissue clinging to the bone. He obtains these raw heads from hunters, trappers, and roadkill collectors out of state since collecting roadkill in his home state is illegal. Austin stresses that the knowledge of local, state, and national laws regarding animal and species protection in relation to hunting and collecting is vital to keeping this hobby legal and safe. He was inspired to start his collection in a simple souvenir shop. He says, when I was about seven years old, I and my family went on vacation to Florida. I remember walking into one of the hundreds of souvenir shops and finding rows upon rows of alligator heads. Of course, I bought one, what I consider the first piece of hundreds. I brought it to my school show and tell, and everyone marveled at it like it was some relic that had been lost to time. I enjoyed that feeling of having something different. I decided there that I wanted to own these things that most people considered odd. Boiled down to a single sentence, he says, at the core of it, I enjoy the fact that I can hold in my hands the things that some people may never even see in their lifetimes.